Look at the edge crust on that though. That's pretty good, dude. You see that? You see how it's got like this eggshell situation, right? You want to have this like crispy, well set crust, but then this like webbed matrix inside. If you can get that, I mean, it's worth struggling for. It's worth striving for, I think. Hey Bakers, it's Martin. I'm here in the studio today and I want to encourage you to come along as we make some classic French baguettes. Listen, these are challenging. There are a lot of steps to manage between how we score and how we shape and getting the hydration right at the mix. But listen, even a baguette which is not perfect is a delicious baguette. It's crispy, it's crunchy, it's got the fermentation flavor that we're looking for. So come along, let's give a shot. Classic baguettes. So classic baguette. This starts with a pre-ferment, which is a poolish. Poolish is the classic pre-ferment used to make baguettes. It's a small quantity of yeast mixed with equal parts flour and water. Cover it and let it rise overnight. Whoop. During the rise, we're developing flavor. We're also developing some handling characteristics which transfer into final dough. And on day two, we have the pre-ferment finished. It's slack, like I said, pancake batter consistency beautiful aromatic pre-ferment ready to mix. So poolish into the bowl, I add the water, the salt and the yeast, and last the flour. With a baguette we actually don't want too much strength. We actually want a little bit less strength than something like bread flour. So all-purpose flour perfect for baguettes. One of the challenges of baguettes is making sure that you have a consistency which is soft. Here I'm just checking the dough to make sure I have the consistency that I want. And if it feels a little bit firm, I'll add a little water, a tablespoon at a time, until I have a supple consistency. And I'll continue this sort of folding, pressing process, looking for that supple, sticky consistency. And then I'll give it just a couple of folds in the bowl. And we're done, time for bulk. All right, the reveal. So after the first rise, we're gonna get this dough out of the bowl and ready for the divide. I like to flour the top and then release the dough from the edge of the bowl using a flexible scraper and a little bit of flour. And then I'm gonna divide into three equal pieces. And for a pre-shape, I'm gonna use a tube. So I bring the sides in and then I just roll it down, pressing with just the pressure required to seal the dough towards myself. And that's pretty much it. Sometimes I'll seal the ends like that. You don't have to. So let's do it again. Right side in, left side in, pat to seal, and then just fold it down. So the purpose of this pre-shape is to give you an even form when you go to the final shape. Baguettes, we want to be consistent in width, end to end, so having this nice regular form to begin with will help us when we go to our final shape. And cover them 15 minutes, something like that. They need to relax a little bit before you can extend them into the length of a baguette. So let's do the final shape. I'm going to prepare my baker's couche, or in this case it's just some linen, a little bit of flour on it to keep the baguettes from sticking. So final shape. Gently pat to remove any large bubbles. We're gonna do a letter fold. So towards yourself two thirds of the way, turn it around, pat to seal, and then fold to the middle. That's our letter. And here I'm looking to make sure that it's relatively even from end to end. So I've done my letter fold, and now using the heel of my palm, I just gently press to seal, and then back and forth. And in the back and forth process, I want some travel to that baguette. I'm actually rolling it back and forth. That helps to smooth and even. I roll it back and forth until I'm at the diameter that I want of the final shaped piece of dough. Once I have that diameter, I come in with both hands and gently roll back and forth, moving toward the ends. So I'm placing these baguettes seam side up on the couche. I wanna know where that seam is because I'm gonna cut or score the opposite side before they go into the oven. So I keep track of that seam. 
and we'll set them to proof. Baguettes, you want to load into the oven a little bit on the young side. What I'm looking for here when I do this little finger test is to see that after I press the dough, it slowly refills the space. It sort of bounces back. And these look like they're ready to load. The final proof with baguettes is not terribly long, 45 to 60 minutes on average. I'm using my transfer peel to make sure that they're straight and that the tips are nice and pointy. And I'll score them. The main thing to consider with scoring is that you give the loaf a place where it will expand. You're sort of telling the loaf where to open. That's the most important aspect of, of scoring. And scoring is one of those times when the dough can sort of smell your fear. So be confident, go quickly, and keep practicing. So load in the baguettes and you'll see that I add steam. Steam is critical. Steam is critical for the crust, for the cuts to open, for proper expansion and coloring in the oven. Do we already do this trick where I play like air guitar? Like Angus. See this shine and this little bit of cracking here? To me that says that this is a very thin, crisp crust. You ready? Here we go, here we go. People are always afraid I'm gonna cut my fingers. Sometimes I'm afraid. I've never cut myself cutting a baguette open like that though. What? <laughs> I'm happy about that. It's, Tucker, you know me, you know me. It's hard for me to be happy about my bread sometimes because I love it and I want it to be really nice. Um, but I'm happy about that. I'm very happy about that. So listen friends, Give these baguettes a shot. Your first one is not gonna be perfect. Your last one may not be perfect, but the ones in between will be crunchy and crispy and delicious. So start your journey now. If you haven't tried it yet, try making some baguettes and check out the other content on our channel as well. Like and subscribe, come along. We've got lots of great stuff coming down the pike. So this is Martin and Tucker from the studio with our classic baguettes. Hope you all have a great day. Happy baking. We'll see you next time.